Welcome to Good Morning Ithaca, your top news provider. Breaking news, Justin, Odysseus has finally arrived home. Yes, it's quite amazing. We have stuck with him from the beginning, and his hard work over a span of 20 years has finally paid off. Or has it? Currently, his house is being inhabited by over 100 suitors, trying to win Penelope's heart and steal his crown. It's quite bad. They aren't respecting the rules of being a guest. If only Telemachus was a man, he could take the crown for himself. Let's recap Odysseus' journey over the past 20 years. He started off as a hero in the Trojan War, make his, making his name famous for the wooden horse. On his way home, he faced the Lotus Eaters, who tried to tempt him and his men in, but Odysseus was strong and knew not to. He then met a certain Cyclops. After stabbing the Cyclops in the eye, he accidentally told the Cyclops his name, resulting in a curse being put on him by Poseidon. The curse later then really set back their journey. First, his men accidentally opened a, the bag of winds, causing the ship to go off course. He was then tricked by Circe's the goddess into staying with her for over a year. He has to travel to the underworld to learn of a new route to Ithaca. He faced Scylla and the Cherubis, who took the lives of many of his men. Lastly, his men eat the cattle on Helios' island, and that indirectly kills the rest of the men. He found himself at Calypso's island, where he was held captive for seven years. He is then finally set free and travels home to Ithaca. What I think is especially interesting... Well, that's all for the breaking news. Now on to Stephanie with the weather and traffic. Prior to Odysseus' arrival home, the weather was far from ordinary. First off, due to a bag of wind being opened without the knowledge of its effects, entire ships were thrown off course and re waves reached extraordinary heights. Scattered, lightning bolts should be expected in the next few days. As for traffic, the siren's beautiful song continues to pull ships off course and lead them to their island. If heading towards Ithaca, avoid crawling rocks at all costs. A reasonable alternative route would be the underworld. Be very careful when heading through Cherubis and Scylla because they are not easy to catch through. Now on to Carly with your sports report. Thanks, Stephanie. There have been many sporting events taking place on Ithaca. The major event was a bow stringing contest. Whoever was able to string the bow and hit the target will become the king of Ithaca and marry Penelope. Penelope devised the contest because she knew nobody would be able to do it except for Odysseus. Odysseus showed up, posed as a beggar, and strung the bow and hit the target. Then he had all the doors blocked off with the help and with the help of the gods, he shot everyone with his son's help using the arrows. Odysseus is still undefeated in his battles. Another event was Telemachus's sprint. He had to run as fast as he could to help his father get the supplies needed to kill the suitors. That's all for me. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Carly. We were able to, we were able to receive an exclusive interview with Odysseus himself. Now I'll pass it on to Odysseus. Hello, Odysseus. Hello, Tyler. How are you? I'm very good. Um, so, do you want to talk about your journey? I would love to. Um, were you scared of any journey? Well, of course not. I'm brave. I, I'm not scared of anything. I mean, even the Cherubis and Scylla, they're not scary at all. Um, what was the most terrifying part? Well, when I finally reached home and saw all those suitors in my house trying to steal my fortune and my wife, that was pretty scary to me. Okay. Um, do you like Xerxes or Calypso better? Well, they're both strikingly beautiful and amazing and talented and all that stuff, but I'd have to say I don't like either of them better because my one true love is Penelope. Um, nothing bad. Do you think it was necessary to kill the suitors? Well, of course. They were trying to steal my wife and my fortune. I mean, if someone was stealing your wife, what would you do to them? I mean, it's a good point. Yeah. Um, what was your best and worst decision? Um, my best decision was probably when we were on the island of the Lotus Eaters, when I helped my men escape from there. Because if they stayed, then they probably would have died there. So, I think that's my best decision. And my worst decision was when we were on Cyclops Island and I told the Cyclops my name because that's kind of foolish of me and he cursed me. So that kind of ruined my trip. Yeah, oh. that's pretty dumb. Yeah. Um, why 
Why didn't you tell the men about Scylla and Charity? Well, my men, they're smart and everything, but they're not really courageous. So if I told them, hey, there's going to be some giant monsters on the way home, they probably would have, just, would have stayed where they were and not came with me. So. Okay. And uh, how do you feel after you got home? Well, after I got home and defeated all the suitors, I felt really relaxed and kind of glad to be home after 20 years of traveling. Gets you kind of tired. Yeah, nice relaxation. Yeah. Alright. Well, um, thanks for coming here. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good time. Yeah, you too.